Hello, we will be making root beer in our homemade root beer lab today. First, obtain all the materials. So, this is a cup of water, which will be the control of our experiment. This is 160 milliliters of water, root beer concentrate, a cup to hold your root beer in, sugar, and chunks of dry ice. We have already pre-cut it because it does take a considerable amount of time. And for our lab, we'll be also, we will also be using pH paper to show the change in acidity of water in the root beer. First, add about one uh, half a teaspoonful of root beer concentrate and 2.5 tablespoons of sugar. Next, pour in 160 milliliters of water and stir with your spoon until the root beer concentrate and the sugar has completely dissolved. Once you see that all the sugar has dissolved into the water, you can move on to the next step. Using insulated gloves, add a chunk of dry ice into your root beer. Be careful as this dry ice can burn you. Observe as the root beer carbonates. Now that the last piece of dry ice has been removed, it is now safe and fully carbonated. Although this is optional, we will continue this to show the acidity of this root beer. Normal water versus root beer. Although there isn't a really, really huge obvious difference, this pH paper is slightly more orange than the more green pH paper. This is the pH paper dipped into root beer. As root beer forms small amounts of carbonic acid, this is a bit more acidic solution as you can see in this indicator sample. As a solution is more acidic, the pH paper will turn more orangish reddish. Now you can enjoy a fresh cup of homemade root beer. And don't be alarmed by the coloring as root beer you buy outside is more brown due to food coloring and other industrial processes. This tastes really good. If you're doing this at home, please do this with adult supervision as we do have dried ice, which may burn your skin. Hey! Oh, wow.